Let's go! Deciding that you want to own Bitcoin is something that I believe in the future you are going to look back at as one of the best choices you've made in your life. Today, we are going to talk about Bitcoin. We're talking about it on shorter time frames, but also I need to show you something that is going to blow your mind. Because why do we hold Bitcoin to begin with? Why do we believe that this is still going to be the best performing asset in the world and why this is not going to stop anytime soon? Guys, stick around for this. We're also talking about Ethereum. We're talking about stuff on the shorter term as well. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, activate the bell right now. Let's go straight into the charts. And what we can see here on the four hourly time frame is that we got supported on the bodies of the candles at my orange thick line at $33,000. There's a reason why this is thick. There's a reason why the price got supported here. We did go down briefly. And now we're having that support dip down into the liquidity zone of this small little orange box right here. And right now we are seeing the pressure from this huge orange box at $38,000 start to actually pressure down the price. So are we going to get in here? I mean, we tried to break it one, two, three, four, five times unsuccessfully on the 23rd of May. This was actually uh, yesterday and the day before. So are we now going to make a new push and are we going to get above it? Well, I still stand by what I've been saying. Everything between these red lines is just, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. If we see a break out of $42,000 or a breakdown from $30,000, that is when things are going to get more interested. But for now, getting down here at the uh, orange uh, or the red line at $30,000, I continue buying the dip and I will tell you why here in a bit. So let us take away all of this for now and let's flip on the Lux Algo just to take a look at what that is doing right now. Well, it's not really doing that much. I mean, we had a strong sell up here at $55,000. Since then, we haven't had a flip yet. So as always, I am going to keep you updated on this, but no, not a buy flip yet here on the Lux Algo. And of course, if you want to trade yourself and you want to get $2,000 for free, you still are able to do so over on Femex. So use this link if you want to take advantage of this offer. Also 2,600, but only for new users. On Femex, you got the bonus for new and existing users. On Bybit, only for uh, new users. Also, if you want to go full-time crypto, apply as a voiceover artist using this link right here. The Lux Algo 20% discount using the code STACKER20 and using this link. So let's quickly talk about Ethereum here. So Ethereum is struggling with getting above my orange line here at 2307. But look, everything is still following Bitcoin. Everything is looking for what Bitcoin is going to do. But if you believe, I mean, we have had a huge dump in Bitcoin and especially the altcoins. If you look at the last seven days on the altcoins, some of these are down 65. Some of them went down by 75 and 80 percent even. And at that point, it is the same kind of drop you would usually see in a bear market. Can it go down lower? Of course, it can go even lower. But just understand, I mean, we are having huge corrections here across the board. Uh, in the altcoins especially. So that's why I'm saying also that selling right now close to support at $30,000 is a huge risk, especially if you look at the traditional markets. They opened up yesterday. These are the futures markets. And uh, yeah, you're seeing a little bit of a green bounce here of my orange line. So if this continues to do well, well, that is not going to impact the crypto markets negatively at least. So if this continues to do well, that is positive for the crypto markets. But why do I continue buying the dip? Well, what is the alternative? So if you are not putting your money into Bitcoin, if you are not putting it into quality altcoins that are changing the world right now, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to hoard fiat? Are you going to pile it up? Well, fiat is terrible. Are you going to get into real estate? It is at an all-time high. Are you going to get into the stock market? Well, it has had a bit of a dip, but still, everything considered, the traditional markets, S&P 500, Nasdaq, whatever you want to look at, all-time high. And uh, what is the alternative? Just holding Bitcoin, the best performing asset in the world so far, 
or putting it into fiat. Well, I would rather hold Bitcoin, even though Bitcoin is dipping, even though it is dipping, that is just a good opportunity to accumulate more. Because if you look at what $1 today or $100 back in 1913 would be worth today, it is, you know, sad to see actually. So $100 back in the day, almost 100 years ago, would today be worth, this is actually 2019, even less today, it would be worth about $3, okay? So about $3 it would be worth today. So why would you want to accumulate a fiat currency that is depreciating at this pace? And it gets worse. Not only was it going down so much until 2019, well, we just had enormous amounts of money printed recently. And when I say recently, I mean since Corona, basically. In fact, you've seen an increased supply and you can see that they increased the US dollar money growth supply by 25%. So this is also going to pile up the uh, depreciation of the dollar. It is going to accelerate that. And so I am pretty confident holding Bitcoin right now. I am confident uh, switching my fiat, my US dollar to something that is the best appreciating asset in the world, in history. I have no problem doing that. This is why I'm saying every dip is an opportunity, especially if you look at this. And this is going to blow your mind. So this is the Bitcoin supply visualized. So out of all Bitcoin currently in existence, where are they? What are they doing with it? And how much is left to be bought? Well, 2.4 million Bitcoin is on exchanges. So this is, you know, people trading, they are holding out on exchanges, they are doing this or that. It's on exchanges. So it is the user's funds on exchanges, basically, or the actual exchange funds as well. So the profits they've been making and whatnot. But then you have 1.7 Bitcoin or 1.7 million Bitcoin that those are zombie coins. So these are never going to be moved, most likely. These have never been moved. And so it is unlikely that they are going to move in the future. So lost wallets and so on. And then you have 656,000 Bitcoin in the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. So institutional investors are uh, accumulating Bitcoin. We already know that. So 328,000 Bitcoin are mined per year. You have uh, 200,000 Bitcoin seized by the uh, Bulgarian government. You have a couple of uh, single entities owning a lot of Bitcoin like the Winklevoss twins. You have um, a lot of Bitcoin on Ethereum, so wrapped Bitcoin being used in DeFi. You have Block.1 having Bitcoin. You have, uh, of course, you have MicroStrategy. You have Tesla. You have Tim Draper. But here's the thing. The vast majority of the Bitcoin is obviously going to be held by people. So me and you holding Bitcoin in our wallets. That is the vast majority of Bitcoin. And that is all of these purple dots. So these are the Bitcoin that have been accumulated and sitting in cold storage or whatever from people, everyday people, institutions who are not already disclosing that they own Bitcoin. Basically, all of the Bitcoin people own or single entities. Okay, so we go down here. This is the Bitcoin left to be mined. There will never be more Bitcoin ever available to be purchased other than these ones right here. So in other words... We are just seeing Tesla. We are just seeing MicroStrategy and other institutions getting involved in Bitcoin. And they are buying quite a bit. And this is just going to increase. And so you have all of the retail investors getting involved buying Bitcoin. And so far, they are, you know, all of this Bitcoin in the, in the pink here is owned by people. All of the other participants who are going to enter after us are going to have to compete for these ones right here. And the last Bitcoin, it is going to take hundreds of years until the last Bitcoin is mined. So Bitcoin is just going to be scarcer and scarcer as times moves on. So this is why I'm confident holding Bitcoin, guys. I am extremely confident. And especially if you compare it to other assets, you compare it to the alternative of holding US dollar, I am very confident in that. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.